I want to show you three websites that you should be familiar with if you're interested in learning more about digital citizenship. The first one is commonsensemedia.org and you'll see the web address up here in the address bar. And there's a lot of information on this website. If you scroll over to educators, you'll see digital citizenship comes up and you'll find a lot of information there as well. The other website that I would like to take you to is edweb.net. I'll just go back a couple steps here. Alright, so edweb.net requires you to join their community. It's a free sign up and it's very, very easy. Once you're in, you'll need to log in. And by doing that, you have access to their various communities. And one of their communities is digital citizenship that I've joined. Now by doing that, I have access to upcoming webinars. You can see that there's one coming up on the 31st of July. As well, I have access to archives of past webinars, and I find that's a great way to learn. Gives, you can do it whenever you have time. Click on the link, very easy to do. And then I can choose different ways that I want to learn if I want to just watch the web, webinar recording, which I find very useful it's not hard to do. So then you just need to put in your name and your email and then you'll be able to watch the recording. So don't forget that you do need to log in and to uh, sign up for that website. And another website that is fantastic is mediasmarts.ca. Now there are tutorials as well here and so when, I'll just take you to the home page when you, when you log in to mediasmarts.ca, this is what you'll see. And it's a little slow here. There we go. All right, so this is the home page. And when I'm trying to find something quickly, I love it when I see a search box up at the top. And I'm going to take you to the e-tutorials. There's one specific one that I'd like to show you tonight. So e-tutorials, the search results pop up there. And then you just click on tutorials and we're going to look at raising kids ethical kids for a networked world so once you get to this page you have a choice of watching it either on your laptop that uses flash or your computer or um, an iPad or an iPhone that uses uh, HTML5 so I have it loaded here on this other screen and we'll just play it now it's a, it's a set of slides but there is there is uh, a recording that goes with it. This is a 25 minute tutorial. You can see along here either how far along you've gotten. So if you have to be interrupted, you can record where you ended and go back and start it up in the right spot. You'll also notice that there are tabs at the top that have the notes that go with each of the slide, which is really handy. Just play a minute of it. Welcome to our presentation on how parents and teachers can help children grow up to be capital E ethical, empathetic, engaged, and empowered e-citizens. In this presentation, we're going to look at some of the moral dilemmas that kids face in their online activities and share some strategies to help them build the social and emotional intelligence that's needed to support ethical decision-making and to build resiliency in case things go wrong. It's a big topic, so we're going to focus on three major areas respect for people's personal information by not oversharing, for people's feelings by not participating in bullying or being a passive bystander, and for intellectual property by 
understanding copyright and plagiarism. The foundation for helping our kids behave ethically online is helping them to behave ethically offline. We generally think of our kids' online and offline lives as being two separate things. In reality, they constantly overlap, flowing back and forth, face to face in the schoolyard and through texts and social networks at home. So that's how that works. Um, not too difficult. I think that you'll enjoy this way of learning and have fun with it.